Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today we're making a layered cake with lemon curd gel, strawberry mousse topped with strawberries and toasted Italian meringue. This is such a delicious cake. Firstly you're going to need to make two 8 inch round sponge cakes and once they're cooled level off the tops and cut each one into two layers and the recipe for that sponge cake in the video is on the website. Now let's make the lemon gel and the strawberry mousse. You will need eggs, powdered sugar, butter, corn flour, gelatin measured out into two bowls and fresh lemon juice and you can find all of those recipe quantities and the recipe and the video for the sponge cake on the website howtocookthat.net and I will link to that in the description below this video. Mix your gelatin with some of the lemon juice that is at room temperature, you don't need to heat it up and stir it through well and then we just want to leave those so the gelatin will absorb that moisture and soften up. Place the rest of the juice into a saucepan, then add the butter, powdered sugar, eggs and the corn flour. Whisk it all together and then continue to whisk that over the heat. And first thing that will happen is the butter will melt, but it's still going to be quite a liquidy, watery consistency like this. Keep stirring it over the heat and it's important that you stir it the whole time so you don't get any lumps. And it will start to thicken up and once it's bubbling like this, keep stirring it for about 30 seconds more just to make sure all the eggs are cooked and the corn flour is cooked as well. Split that evenly between two bowls and then add the smaller lump of gelatin into one bowl and stir, stir and stir some more until all the gelatin is melted. Then just set that to one side. Take two punnets of strawberries and wash them and hull them, so take the green bit off. And you'll remember a few weeks ago I showed you how to make your own pop and cooking kit and I asked you which YouTuber you wanted me to send the kit to. Well I read through all of your requests and mailed it off overseas all the way from Australia to LA to Strawberry17. <laughs> and if you haven't met Strawberry17 before she does videos ranging from cosplay to gameplay and even pop and cooking videos and I'll link you to the video of her making the mini cake kit at the end of this one and in the description below so make sure you check that out too. Add the larger lump of gelatin into the second bowl of lemon curd and stir it through until the gelatin melts just like we did before. Now pour that into a blender and add the strawberries on top. Turn it on and blend, 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 blend until it's smooth and nice and strawberry pink. In a clean bowl, pour in your cream and whip it with some electric mixers. Now I get a lot of questions about what cream to use. It's called so many different names all around the world. So I've made a whole page on the website to explain which cream you should pick for this recipe and I'll link to that below as well. Once you can see the pattern of your beaters in the cream, that's good. Pour in the cooled strawberry mixture and fold it through. Now it's important that this mixture is at room temperature. It shouldn't feel hot or cold. Otherwise, if it's hot, it will melt the cream. Line an eight inch round container with nonstick baking paper at the base and around the edges, allowing it to come up higher than the edges of the container. Add your first layer of sponge cake to the bottom and then pour in half a cup of lemon curd gel and use a spoon just to spread that out to the edges. Then add two cups of strawberry mousse, then the next layer of sponge and repeat those layers adding the lemon curd followed by the strawberry mousse all the way up to the top and then add a thin layer of your strawberry mousse on the very top to stop that cake drying out. Tap it on the bench to level it off and then place it in the fridge to set for at least three hours. You can leave it overnight if you want. Scrape the last bit of your strawberry mousse out of the bowl and put it onto a silpet and spread it super thin, like I mean really thin like paper. Place it in a slow oven for about 40 minutes and it will dehydrate and go crisp like this. Place that in a sealed container because it will soften as soon as it's in the air. And then we need to make our topping. To do that, place the sugar and water into a saucepan and stir it until the sugar's dissolved. Wash down the sides of your pan with some water on a pastry brush just to get rid of any sugar crystals because otherwise they'll make your sugar syrup crystallize out and go crunchy, which is not what we want. Then add a candy thermometer and continue to heat that unstirred. Turn your beaters on so they can whip up the egg whites while the sugar syrup's heating. And then once that sugar syrup reaches 238 degrees F or 114 C, 
pour it into the egg whites with the beaters still running and continue to beat it until the sides of the bowl feel cooled down. And this might take about five or six minutes. Now, once your mousse is set, fold the top of the paper down and turn the whole thing upside down. Lift up the plastic container to slide it off and then peel the paper off the base. Add your plate to the bottom of the dessert and then flip it back up the right way up. Now carefully unwrap it and peel the baking paper off those sides. Now to decorate it, spread some Italian meringue on the top, pile on the strawberries, add more Italian meringue, toast it using a brulee torch, add more strawberries and pistachio nuts to the top and then pieces of your dehydrated mousse that we made before. Slice generous portions and enjoy the moist, fresh strawberry lemony flavours. Share the video with a friend you'd like to bake this with or as a hint for someone to make it for you. Subscribe to How To Cook That for more crazy sweet creations. Click here to see the rest of my videos and here to check out Strawberry 17 making my mini cake kit and subscribe to her channel too. Have a great week and I'll see you all on Friday.